Oh, well, it's definitely been far too long since my last video. Um, I guess it's fair to say that things haven't quite gone as expected or planned in my head uh, these past six or seven months of being on the road, but that's life and I've just been going with the flow. But anyway, I have just pulled up at this awesome little campsite in the southwest region of Western Australia. This is the Stockton Lake and I thought what better time, what better chance to get back behind the camera, make a little video out of it and uh, just go from there. So anyway, I've literally just pulled up. I'm about to set the tent up, open the awning and uh, I'll take you along. Let's go. There you go, love that thing. It's the Rhino Batwing 270 degree awning. Uh, I don't think I had that in the last video, so that's a new inclusion to the video. Um, but yeah, buddy, love it. Super quick, easy, simple to set up. You just saw how long it took me. Uh, I am gonna smack a couple of pegs just in the bottom of those poles because it is a little bit breezy uh, just to be safe. So yeah, let's do that. Set up what did that take me maybe half an hour max and I definitely wasn't rushing uh, it's just hit four o'clock and I'm just gonna chill out for the next little while and then uh, I'll probably see you at dinner time maybe have a beer in between we'll see how we go alrighty well it's now quarter past seven the Sun's just going down over the lake behind me looks quite nice I'll uh, throw in a few clips for you but uh, yeah, I've just been taking it real easy this afternoon. I ended up having a bit of a nap upstairs in the tent. I'm buggered, I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, it's dinner time now, I'm just gonna keep it real simple. I'm just gonna make a little like vegan chicken schnitzel thing with some veggies. Probably won't show you too much because it's pretty boring stuff, but uh, I'm just gonna have that and then probably head upstairs and watch a movie or something and uh, yeah, have an early night. So we'll do dinner and then I'll see you in the morning. Beautiful. 
here. Broccolini. Schnitzels. Oh. Cheers, guys. Well, there you go. Like I said, pretty basic, boring dinner tonight. If I could be bothered, I probably would have made some potatoes or some salad with it, but snitzu and broccolini it is. Cheers, guys. Righto, morning guys, had a good sleep, had a sneaky sleep in this morning, so now it is definitely coffee time. So I'm gonna get the coffee on, have some brekkie, let's do it. coffee done including some frothy milk and a nice little bug that just landed in there oh well uh, yeah I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this and then have some brekkie It's brekkie time this morning. I'm keeping it pretty simple as always. Uh, the staple Vegemite and avocado on toast. Love it. 
Uh, and as you just saw, I now have a toaster in the back of the canopy, which is a game changer. I love it, makes things so much easier. Um, and that might have you questioning how I can run a toaster in the back of the car and whatnot. So I am gonna do a quick little run through of my whole 12 volt setup later in this video. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's have some brekkie. Righto, well, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is what 12 volt setup I run in the car. So I thought I'd give you a quick little rundown on the setup that I do have, what I run off of it, how it performs, and everything in between. So let's go take a look. All right, so my whole 12 volt setup is mounted and fitted nicely in the back of the canopy, which you can see now. Um, all the gear that I have is Red Arc, which if you don't know Red Arc, then you probably don't know much at all about 12 volt setups because they are the best in the business. Uh, but anyway, let's get stuck into it. So, first of all, what battery am I running? Uh, am I running AGM or lithium? I'm still running AGM because I've had it for a while and there's no need to upgrade or change over to lithium yet. So when this one dies, I will be going to lithium. But yeah, it's a 150 amp hour AGM deep, deep cycle battery and that's mounted neatly uh, at the back of the drawers. I'm not gonna show you because it's buried away. Uh, next up, the link between my starter battery and my auxiliary battery is the Red Arc BCDC 1240D um, smart charger. So that keeps, that keeps my second battery charged while I'm driving, gives me the ability to plug in solar, and all the rest of it so that thing's awesome it absolutely pumps uh, along with that I've got a Red Arc 2000 watt inverter 2000 watt probably is a bit of overkill for what I use but it's better to have uh, I guess the ability to have more power than not enough so that's mounted there as well and then I guess that leads me to solar um, some of you might ask do I have a fixed panel on the roof or anything like that no, I don't. I'm running a solar blanket also from Red Arc. Um, the reasons that I don't have one mounted permanently on the roof or anything like that, there's no real reason. I would like one up there as well, maybe down the track, but I haven't needed one so far. Uh, and I like the versatility of having the blanket as well, like, because, you know, sometimes you might want to be parked up in the shade and the sun's not on the roof of your car. So I've just got a 15 meter plug or cable uh, and I can run the panel out to where the sun is move it around the day and get optimal charge from the sun so I'll show you that but it's a red arc 160 watt uh, folding solar blanket the thing cranks I love it it keeps everything topped up perfectly I've never ever gone flat I know so what do I run off of this whole dual battery setup firstly I run the angle 40 liter fridge that's running 24 7 non-stop doesn't skip a beat uh, and then other than that a few little lights some LED strips in the canopy a couple of camp lights off the side of the roof rack um, yeah that's about it from from that point of view and then off of the inverter what I run off of that I charge all of my camera batteries so camera batteries GoPro drone then I charge my laptop off of it charge phones literally all of that stuff uh, and then also a nice little luxury that I've added to the setup recently is a toaster. Uh, the toaster is about 750 watts, uh, but it only, you know, pulls that power for three or four minutes max. Uh, two pieces of toast, no worries. So that thing is a game changer. I love having a toaster on board because, as you know, I love my toast in the mornings. Um, that's about all I run off of it. Like I said, it's probably overkill, but, you know, having... The, the option to run more off of it if I needed to is better than, you know, not being able to run those things if I did want to. Right, well that gives you a bit of an idea on what I've got set up in my car. I mean, people go to, you know, totally different levels these days with with the gear and it's hard to keep up with it all, but mine's pretty simple. Um, it is good gear and it does the job perfectly. But yeah, I've been uh, living on the road and out of the car for the past seven or so months. Um, and a lot of that time has been spent completely off grid, um, staying at 
free camps with no power or water or anything like that and that solar panel has done the job perfectly I've never run out of charge I've never you know had to turn the car on and keep the second battery charged up or whatever uh, and as you know I'm a photographer and videographer and I'm working on the road so the ability to keep things charged when I need them to be charged is is a, is a real you know that's a key so yeah I bloody love the setup it hasn't let me down once and I would fully recommend it um, yeah I think that just about covers everything if there's anything else leave me a comment down below and I'll try and answer some questions about it all but that's what I've got set up and uh, I love it so there you go Alrighty, well I've really not been doing much at all this afternoon, just been in and out of the water all day, it's been pretty hot, uh, caught up on a bit of editing and just been chilling out, making a plan for the next week or so uh, on the road, but uh, yeah, it's about 7 o'clock now, so it's dinner time, I'm just going to make a real simple uh, tofu stir fry kind of dish, I don't know, it's been a bit of a staple on the road, quick and easy, so I'll show you that, and then I'll probably just chill out, watch the sunset, and uh, that'll be it for tonight, so let's do it. Righto, well, there you go. Pretty quick, pretty simple, delicious. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this and I'll see you tomorrow. Righto, morning guys. I've just made a coffee and I've just been sitting down and enjoying the nice peaceful morning that it is. Uh, I'm gonna make some brekkie soon, so I'll show you that. I'm thinking about just doing uh, like mushrooms on toast, maybe with a bit of, bit of avo. Uh, so I'll show you that, but uh, yeah, for now, just gonna chill out. Righto, well, I've got everything out, ready to go for brekkie. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna do a quick, simple uh, mushrooms on toast. I'm just gonna fry the mushrooms in some butter some garlic, salt, pepper, and some mixed herbs. Pretty simple, let's do it. Gee whiz, I love having a toaster. There you go, pretty plain and simple, but it'll do me. Well, today's been another pretty slow, chill day. Um, I've just been in and out of the water all day. It's been pretty hot. I think it's been like 35, 36 degrees. There's not a breath of wind. It's been absolutely glassy out there all day. It's been really nice, actually. Um, 
So yeah, I haven't, haven't been doing too much, so I'm sorry if it's been a little bit boring to watch, but I don't know, that was kind of my plan behind this, this little camping trip was to just get back out, get back out camping away from the hustle and bustle again um, and get back in the groove of being behind the camera and just being on my own again before I hit the road and start heading back to SA next week. So yeah, this is what this is what this trip was. Um, it was just a slow chew on and there's really not much to do around here other than just chill out. And that's exactly what I've needed to do. So hope you've enjoyed it. Um, tonight, not really gonna do much. I'm probably gonna go for one more swim, freshen up and then have something to eat. And then, yeah, I'll be out of here tomorrow morning. I'll probably just do brekkie and coffee and then pack up and go. So um, not too much else to share, but it is what it is. Hope you've enjoyed it so far and uh, yeah. Well, as you can see, the car's all packed up. I'm ready to go, which brings me to the end of this video. Um, like I said yesterday, sorry if it's been a little bit boring, but I don't know. I'm just getting back in the groove of it all, and I'm looking forward to making more and sharing more with you soon. So, yeah, if you've made it this far, thanks heaps for watching. Um, that's it from Stockton Lake. I've just had my last little dip. Feeling fresh, ready to go. Yeah, so if you've made it this far, thanks heaps for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave me a comment. If you've got any questions about anything, feel free to drop them below as well. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Cheers and get out there.